Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Again, I like to say good evening and welcome, and then as well as thank you for coming and participating with this, and also giving me this opportunity to talk break about the ancient knowledges, the wisdom that used to be applied every day of our lives in the, in the ancient time and is continuing now in the East. And so the ancient knowledges are very beneficial, very practical, and is down to the earth. It's very beautiful, really. It brings a beautiful result in a life that what we like to be have, have to, what we like to have, and at the same time, it will really achieve those beautiful results. So, I'm so happy and so grateful with you all these evenings. Now, I talk really about uh, what I'm going to talk about the mindfulness, and as well as uh, meditation. I think that's what my topics. Generally, this, uh, the knowledge that what I'm going to talk tonight is, as I already said, is ancient knowledge that has been practicing for centuries, from generation to generation. And this knowledge is never get out of debt. Debt is always so beneficial and so powerful and very effective and for the, to bring meaning for our lives every time it is. And then when we talk, thinking of this generally, the situation in the modern times, modern time, there's so many material developments that we all know. Maybe one of the best material development in human history. Ancient time in the different literature mentioned how beautiful, how good things that really mentioned is that looks like so beautiful, so easy, so convenient. Everything comes so perfectly. No violence and violence and disturbance comes so kind of beautiful that. But then most of the time in the human history, there's a lot of struggling and difficulties. And if throughout the generations, we all human beings thinking that every have a lot of material development and progress, we all think that really will bring the comfort to our lives, is our difficulty, troubles, and joy and peace, kind of good things to everyone. That's what we always thought. And not just only us, but throughout the generations when we read history of the human. But however, this time, I think it also really tested that very much. We got, I think, the best de development of the human world. Every material thing, all technologies, all the materials, and all the comforts of what we have now. It's just kind of, in a way, in the enormous, unbelievable. In me, every somebody is t telling the story of this now 21st or 21st century or 20th century's situation or the development, if somebody can tell that in 200 years ago, everybody will think it is just stories, it's mythological, it is not true. That cannot have happened. But truly now is something unbelievable, unexpected, that 200 years ago this achieved. And all these technologies, all this communists, as I said, I mean, you all know this. But, but however, how much that really helping to the, bring the peace, happiness, and peaceful, and joy and comfort, how much it brings. That also we can witness by, we can our own self, all the material things, what we do, we loved. More we developed, more we have, Looks like more needed, more needed, more needed. Mind is just a continually kind of craving one after another, one after another. So reality of the peace and happiness, comfortable, 
If we're comparing this 21st century or 20th century happiness and peace and comfortable and 200 years ago peace and happiness, if we compare, I don't know how much we can say this time is better than that time. It's just so many. And then because the technology is developed so much, there is so many man-made sufferings. All over is happening and going to bubbling. It's just bubbling. And that these material things developed, this did not help him to subside those things. In a way that these all man-made troubles are coming one after another. Another and so disturbance. Sometimes kind of loosely unbelievable how that can happen, how that can do. These kind of things happen. All these. So therefore, even though we have such a big development of the external material things, but reality level, what we are all looking forward, what we like to have in our lifetimes. We like to have peace, happiness, comfortable, more respect and appreciation to each other, and harmonious. Those are really we are looking forward, looking forward. Everybody wants that. Everybody needs that. That. So when now we started thinking of the how we uh, could achieve such as these beautiful treasures that we are looking forward. Where that going to come? Is obviously is not coming from outside, from the materials too much. Maybe it's a little bit kind of comforting, comforting for a short time, but ultimately it's not just really doing anything. It's just uh, in a way so much worries, so much anxieties, so much kind of fears. One after another, that continually happening. After always happening. And for that reason, what is really the solutions? What is the best? That is, I think, the way we apply the ancient knowledge and techniques, these modern times. It will bring the beautiful balance. The when we have this all the material developments, all this, but at the same time we bring this this knowledge beautiful skills and methods of the ancient time, they apply it. If you apply that, then I think life becomes more comfortable, peaceful. And we're talking about the ancient knowledges and the, their skills and techniques. Where did that come from? This is not coming from outside, ancient time those. Most of the time, if, we talk, if I talk about, for example, the great, great teacher, wise teacher, the Buddha, what he taught. And then as well as many other great also teachers, what they taught. is all something connected with really the, our mind. It's not coming from outside. Our sight. So it's something you have to develop inwardly. And that is then with each of our own mind, how we take care of, how we like to be our future, and how we like to be our self in the present time, is absolutely dependent how we are taking care of ourselves, particularly how we are taking care of our mind. Our mind. Mind is the principle that ancient knowledge, every literature said. The mind is the principle. My, because why is the principle? Because it rules all our perceptions, all our conceptions, and all our feelings. Mind is ruling everything. And mind is making the final decisions. What you would like to be pronounced by the mind. Therefore, taking care of the mind is so important. For those reasons, ancient time always spoke how important of the mindfulness is. Because it deals directly to the mind. These techniques of the mindfulness looks directly to the mind. Mind. Present time, as I said, mind is ruling all our perceptions, all our conceptions, all our feelings. That means mind is ruling all everything what we do. All that started from the mind and ruling by the mind and decided by the mind. Where it is happening now, everything of ourselves, always mind is looking outside. All the time is going out. 
every direction mind is going through every senses we have five senses senses of eye sense of the ear sense of nose sense of the tongue and sense of the body five senses the mind is going every different directions and then plus one more called mind senses mind senses is ruling all the imagination worlds is ruling the past is ruling the present is ruling the future so mind is the really ruler of everything where is ruling always looking out looking out following every message of the senses whatever it brings and distracted and carried by out all the time out when that happened continually how that happened what we call normally we are very distracted we distracted we are completely kind of lost lost then it brings so much what it brings every kind of like that all the messages coming from the different directions is clashing in the brains one after another it just is kind of like almost a crisscrossing one after another every direction then it created worries anxieties sadnesses and then maybe it will going to affect it to the psychological mental problems and then eventually physical that all lead by because mind is carried by external force is just of always crying and wanting more and more and that not happening every even you we got us all things is not really benefiting to ourselves to bring the peace and happiness and comfortable to that so that is the what the cold carried by the force of the mind and looking external all the time the mindfulness means something different completely is the both mind same thing mindfulness is a mind but mindfulness is looking inwardly looking inwardly and revealing the treasure the goodness of the mind mind has so many good things that we all know joy the appreciations loving kindness compassion and then together with that respect appreciation all that is mind is treasure of the mind according to the gracious teacher buddha said in his teachings said those are the natural quality of the mind the joy appreciation love kindness compassion the intelligence of the wisdom the beautiful common senses those are the basic nature basic goodness of our own this mind so then when we will, when we bring when we look to the inwardly bring up glorifying those and the polishing that then what it does that is known as mindfulness we begin to settle down on the ground where we really belongs where we are not just always looking externally distracted we begin to look ourselves start feeling the deep treasure warmth of the quality of the mind can mind can offer or mind has that is joy as i said so i like to talk kind of three things about these topics such as joy and appreciation loving kindness and compassion compassion because they are the treasure of the mind when we are connected our mind with these treasures truly we are perfectly state of the mindfulness we feel happy we feel joy we feel we have everything and up we don't feel kind of like missing something wanting this and wanting that really we feel so rich so we bring the richness of from our own deep treasure that which is hiding behind the midst of this turbulence of the conception that kind of as distract us outside and we mindful means we are again we looking to this call it's not nice 
and she really put so they put their poor talk a little bit about now I talk a little bit about the joy and then uh, the appreciations and as well as uh, mm, uh, loving kindness and compassions so to do this first I talk a little bit about the joy now we have to joy is a part of the nature of the our mind it is nature of the mind we don't have to go and get joy from somewhere else even we got something it's not going to work therefore reveal your joy from yourself by who we are going to reveal our joy we have the every opportunity 100% of opportunities to reveal our own joy and we have the right to reveal in a way nature is waiting us to reveal it is beautiful nature nature it is waiting us it's been a long time we're looking outside all the time now the time we look inwardly and I'm not saying we should not look outside we can look outside but occasionally we should look inwardly bring more joy more appreciation reflect the beauty of the what you have already have already what we are this is the word I mean the joys bring you all these beautiful things in a, in a, again in the gracious teacher the Buddha gives in, in his literature in the books always said being as part of the human beings ourself is very special it's not just a co kind of insignificant or kind of just a casual truly being as human being itself is so special and, and for the many times in the t said many ancient those great wise men said to become as beautiful human beings is not just a happen by itself it has beautiful cause and condition circumstances and brought us this beautiful perfect so that means even we do don't see our cause and condition of the have this beautiful life and beautiful this human being situation but truly we see good cause and conditions we have we can judge we can deduct it or we can uh, imprint how that really has beautiful cause and beautiful condition that's what brought of this situation we see the present present can pronounce of the past roughly even though past we don't see since we don't have the knowledge to penetrate of the past and the future future but through the present we can deduct deduct and therefore we have the beautiful and beautiful this present alive and therefore is something can be, you should we should be joyful we should be happy what we have then not just that we are only human beings but we are truly so many luxuries surrounded to you all all the freedom favorable conditions and as well as all the right freedom of right so many things one after another you you have this country is one of the best country have all those beautiful luxury freedoms offered and that is not just again is seldom not just a kind of not just a kind of casual it is very special it's really beautiful and therefore bring more joy and appreciations then joy and appreciations to our families friends we all gather together as in a way short time one way when you look in our human lives how long we will stay talking in a way and knowing to kind of to compare with the like lives in a short time gathering so family is our close friends all those dear family members friends who are with the together with us well we are together well we are be as together that we should be grateful more joyful of that situation be kind be nice to each other when we be nice and kindness to each other that is mindfulness is brings the mind more gentle more peaceful peaceful is more more soothing more calming so brain more that is what the joy is so important 
Then there's also so many different reasons to be individual levels, really bring more joy and appreciation. When we have the joy, what is like removing? What is gone? All that kind of un, 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 kind of like or oh, missing something or not fulfilling or something that un, un, uh, uncorrect. All those really attitudes are kind of completely subside. Calm and bring calm and peace, and it brings. So joy is so important. And that comes from our own heart, from our own nature of the mind. Then with the greater joy, we should also bring more respect and appreciation. More respect and appreciation. And that is also, really we need a respect and appreciation. So many people and so many kind of men met, violence is going on in the world. Why is it happening? In a way, they are not really respecting the appreciation too much each other's. And kind of controlled by the emotions and then disrespectful. And kind of ignoring that existing of everyone. Therefore, respect and appreciation what we have, what you have, and what they have. All is so important, everyone. Everyone is important to our own existence. And because we are here, because of them, because of others, we can enjoy and celebrate of our lives because of others. Our family, our friend, our neighbor, others. That's what we are making beautiful lives. Therefore, respect and appreciate you. Without the others, our life will be lonely. Our life will be sad, in a completely kind of isolated, as like lonely as tree in the desert, desert land. Just a company. And because of others, we can learn so much. We can develop so much. We can make ourselves meaningful for our lives. So therefore, Others are so important, so precious for us. When we respect and appreciate it to that, what it does, again, our mind becomes more calm, more peaceful, more soothing. Then you begin to really see the beauty of not just the only small area, but a wide range. We begin to feel that, how important, how beautiful, how special. Life is just beautiful, beautiful. This, whatever the time we have, we are celebrator of this life in that context of joy and appreciation and respect and respect. That is what's so important. So, so special. So this is the one of the powerful tools of the joy. And then to do ancient times, those in the books and the teachings, those practitioners really mentioned to meditate of the joy, joy and bring the joy in our heart and mind, kind of feel the joy in the heart and extend that energy to every living being, to all everywhere. Just kind of extend it as a light of love and light of the joy. Extend it to every different directions and let that joy, light of joy, touch to everywhere. Kind of feel that and relaxing our mind in that status. That is known as meditating on the joy. Joy and then respect and appreciation comes so beautifully, so naturally. So that is really about the joy. Then I talked to you about a little bit, I like to talk about the, with the joy. Now we also bring more compassion. Compassion is again nature of our own mind. When we have the compassion in our heart and mind, what it does, it brings more calm and peace. Compassion is actually in the teaching always said, said it is the essence of the nature, nature of the mind. Mind. Because it is really going to when we have the compassion, we will understand clearly situation of the old externally, outwardly, and as well as ourselves, one's own self. Compassion is wisdom. Compassion is intelligence. And compassion brings then peace and harmonies. And that, that how that, that going to happen. And we extended the compassion. Compassion generally is so important, but not just a localized compassion. We to really feel compassion to all, every living beings. Every living beings are 
wanting same thing as what we ourselves. What we want, for example, we like to be happy, we like to be peaceful, we like to be joyful, we like to be have the performance. Every living being is wanting the same thing. There is no difference of the anything. At the same time, also they have, we have the same thing. What we don't want? We don't want sadness, suffering, difficulty, troubles. And every living being also have the same thought. They don't want sad, they don't want suffering, they don't want uncomfortable, they like to have everything beautiful fulfillment. So in the feeling level same, and the physical level same, and the mental level same, we don't have any difference. Yet so many sentient beings, in one way everyone is struggling, not fulfilling what they want, and not and also what they have, they lose in that. All troubles, difficult, one after another, really there's so many. And then in their exter uh, that also externally, and mentally they are also sad and suffering, so many going kind of one after another. Therefore, feel great compassion. Compassion is a special power of the medi like medicine that really is the troubles and sufferings of all others and also one's own self. Therefore, compassion is the most powerful, also powerful tools of the meditations. Meditation and a relaxed mind and the essence of the mindfulnesses. So bring more compassion. When we have the compassion in loving kindness in heart, in mind, then it brings also respect and appreciation to the others. Respect and appreciation to each other, respect and appreciation to the environmental levels too, when you have the compassion. Compassion. Because the compassion is not just a localized one direction. If we extend the compassion to the past, present and the future, this all about talking these modern times or the scientists are talking, this environmental levels. We if we have the great compassion, we don't like to spoil this our environment for now and also for future generations. This future the future our future is not ended right when we end it. There is ongoing futures, ongoing beings, ongoing all the human beings. And we kind of don't have the respect and compassion to 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 kind of to the environment, that means that really we are also destroying the hope and the comfort of the future generations. Therefore, then, when the lack of a compassion, then we kind of become very, what is this? Become self-important, self-centered mind. Then kind of spoil everything. Therefore, bring compassion is so important. Compassion is good for our own self, good for everyone, good for every levels, everyone. And is also known as a compassion is a healing. When you have the great compassion, it will heal our emotions, our scars. And also if we have some kind of different ideas between family members or friends, it is the compassion makes heal all those emotions, the scars. And compassion also it brings the, uh, what's called, apologies, excuses. And uh, 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 yeah, uh, apologies and excuse to each other, and uh, and uh, apologies to each other. Then it really heals the skill, skills, and therefore compassion is so powerful, so important. So therefore, again, to do the compassion, in the, in again in ancient those great teaching mentioned, then kind of feel great compassion in heart, and we everyone really free from suffering and difficulties and cause of suffering and the difficulties. When the people experience the difficulty troubles, this is not just happen by itself. It has cause, it has conditions. Conditions. So we really wish and pray and put energy forward to free, free or remove the the cause and the condition of suffering and the difficulties. And for those reasons, even you can see what 
kind of like such sentences said may everyone is free from suffering and cause of sufferings cause of sufferings kind of really sincerely mind with that statement and knowledge and extended that to every direction to all the everyone that is known as powerful meditation of compassion and a powerful meditation of the mindfulness you're reflecting your mind with compassion and relaxing in that nature state this compassion has no partialities no any kind of restricted spreading out to every directions as like sunlight in the morning just every direction really feel that compassion if we do this one time two times even a short time short moment always in it, those great teachings and masters often use to say it has so much power so much healing energies really see see it clears away our obstacles and of obstacles of the, our directions and bring the goodness in just it brings calm and peaceful and mind begin to settle calm and relaxing it is on that natural state so therefore compassion is so important it is nature of our mind when we are compassion we are with my nature of the mind we are relaxing it is not just an artificial created surface surface of the mind is a deep quality of the mind and we really bring up that qualities it is powerful the next one then this i told you really about the loving kindness yeah really loving kindness again lo- compassion they all the nature of the mind this beautiful nature and that that means love is not coming from outside compassion is not coming outside ultimately it is within and joy is not coming from out ultimately within yourself you bring out your let, let that shine outwardly shining that so compassion compassion and loving kind is joy so all beautiful richness called it to the mind now loving kindness and compassion generally they are very similar what is the difference between these two principle one love means that we see the important and the beauty beauty of the every ones see the good things therefore we called love love is beauty love is special love is is again the treasures but it's beauty it is the very uplifting qualities loving kindness compassion is is again beautiful nature state of the mind but it is going to rescue support helping those loved ones who are having difficult troubles so it is rescue kind of like tools of the mind when loved one is having difficulty troubles troubles so that is really distinction between love and compassion generally both are very very similar now love is again why we need this love love is so important as i already said before alien because if we all our all this our living beings every living beings are so special so beautiful so beautiful everyone is like jewel really jewel everyone is knowledge is each for us all is such a, so precious to each other as i said earlier earlier without the others we won't be survived we won't be here and we were not going to learn anything and therefore this this everyone is so important and so precious for that reason we need love love is again when we have the true love in our heart and mind what is comes it brings calm and peace and harmonies in our mind and we see really everything we see the beauty of their qualities their natures natures this love again is not just as i said shop selected group but to everyone really shine that love to everyone as a glowing light to every living beings beings and that we every living being have the joy peace happiness may that last forever ever all the time wishing that sincerely from heart and mind 
mind to everyone, then this is known as, as love. Love is, as I said, is very special states of the mind. Mind, and we should always ignite that qualities in our heart and mind. When we have the love, then what it comes, also courage and a commitment, confidence, all those beautiful knowledges, beautiful qualities of the mind is are really coming, arise at that. For that reason, this love and compassion is so special and so beautiful. And that is what, what is part of the nature of the, our minds. To get with this, to preserve with this now, to preserve joy and appreciation, and as well as loving kindness and compassion, is what we need. What we need. Again, special tool of the mind. That is known as courage and commitment and acknowledgement. That is what really we need. We need. Courage and commitment we need because, again, to preserve in the love and the compassion and the joy, joy, joy is not always sometimes easy due to our habitual patterns. We have so many kind of habitual patterns and always looking outside and distract ourselves, distract it. For that reason, we need great courage and a commitment to preserving these good things. And also we need to remind it to ourselves how beautiful, how important that is to us, each other. And it, it, this to be existing that. So reminding to each other. And as well as also to, to kind of reflecting of that beautiful qualities of the, our beauty such as love, compassion, and joy, and appreciation. When we do those things, that is, that is known as mindfulness. Mindfulness is generally what that also means, remembering what is good, what is good for us. That is really the mindfulness one way. And that is to bring the what is good for us is loving kindness, compassion, joy, as I said, and appreciation, and to preserve that with courage and commitment and confidence. That is what we really need. So therefore, reminding to ourselves. When we remind it to ourselves, when we are able to do that, when we are doing that, what then in the one said? We should always acknowledge that to ourselves. Kind of think that, acknowledge it, oh, I'm doing good. I did good. I will do continually. Kind of acknowledge that to your own one's own self, even so, no one is acknowledging that, but we should acknowledge to ourselves when we do the good things, when is good performance, when our kind of all these beautiful treasures are revealing one after another, we should really appreciate and being grateful, being grateful, grateful and acknowledge that. That is known, known as then, preserve that with courage and a commitment. So through this, then we really do the, we known as the mindfulness practices. Uh, we become more, more calm, calm and peaceful. And also when we, do, uh, we have reflected those triggers, what it brings, then it brings more kind of sensibles, more common senses. And at the same time, we got more awareness so that we come in not, not going to kind of spoil our beautiful situation in a time, time for small reasons. Many times we do that with kind of thing, kind of we picking up small things so much and we spoil big things. That happened by ourselves because lack of the mindfulness and not recognizing what how good we are, how beautiful treasures what we have, and therefore kind of like recognizing, acknowledging and appreciating and reaffirming our courage and commitment to preserve beautiful those struggles of love and compassion and joy and appreciation. If we do that, then truly we are really we are spending this our life with with beautiful and very comfortably and with meaningful of that. And along with that, and then with those people who like to do formal meditation, meditation, have all those beautiful thoughts, beautiful those mindful triggers, joy and appreciation, kindness and compassion, 
all those beautiful things it just really reverse that nature even for five minutes bring up those <coughs> not let that hide behind the, of the all the turbulence of the day kind of like those uh, busyness thoughts really bring more joy more love more compassion if sorrow is not coming easily make reason you have every reason to make feel the joy and appreciate it. You have every reason to bring loving kindness in our heart and mind. We have every reason to feel the compassion. Compassion everybody. So bring out that instead of wondering all the time unnecessarily emotion one after another. Where those emotions are coming? Those unnecessary, unhealthy, unkind like healthy to ourselves, also disturbance to the other. Where that coming from? It's from our mind. So why we are following every time with that? That is unhealthy. That is disturbances. Since we love to our own self, why we should not bring our treasure of joy, appreciation, respect, feel richness, create a sweet home as your heaven. You don't have to expect a heaven in the future. Of course we can expect future heaven too. But let heaven begin right now with your own home, each of ourselves. Bring more love, kindness, compassion, joy and appreciation for even five minutes, ten minutes. That is a powerful way of the meditation of the mindfulness. mindfulness. Then after that, if you like to do more kind of formal ways, meditations, that is then mostly simple one, more one, simple one, is breathing meditation. Meditation means what? In the Tibetan world, is a gong. Gong means relaxing on the natural status. Meditation is not something kind of like dogma or some traditions. Meditation means relaxing mind. Relaxing mind is nothing bound by any traditions. Or relaxing mind is not bound by any tradition, any schools. It's our mind, relaxing. That is meditation. Meditation. So way to do meditation, since why we use the breathing? Because of present time, our mind is so busy. It never rest. That you know, I mean, I'm not talking to story of the past. We look to ourselves, how our mind is busy. The morning we wake up, our mind is carried by the so many conceptions until evening when we go to bed or, or until we fall asleep. Then if we fall asleep, deep sleep, then it kind of stop a short time. But if we like to sleep, then dream, dream. So mind is busy all the time. It has no habit or no kind of like, uh, no tradition of the relaxing. It just went so much all the time. When it's going out, where is going? Busy. It's going out all the time. Everywhere. The world of emotions, world of busyness, world of the worries, anxieties. It's just going out, 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 out all the time. So meditation means relaxing. <coughs> to do relaxing, we, uh, to relax, our mind cannot relax easily. For that reason, Ancient times, those great teachers, in particular Buddha, taught, used breathing meditation. That means mind is now following with breathing. Breathing. And just to follow the mind with the breathing, nothing changes about the breathing, of the movement of the breathing. Relax our body, relax our system and the muscle, everything. Now just breathing in and out from the nostrils and just uh, concentrating mind with the breathing. And what is concentrate? When breathing goes out, exhale, you see breathing is going out. When breathing comes in, you see coming in. So follow the exhale, inhale, exactly as it is. If we follow that five or ten times, that is known as breathing meditation or relaxing mind with breathings. 
And also it has a reason to breathing, uh, why concentrate on the breathing. Generally, according to the, again, in Buddhism and as well as ancient knowledges, always said breathing of the wind and mind has so much relationships. Mind and the wind or the, our breathing just always sit almost together, always together, they go together, together. So therefore, if we kind of use the breathing as a support of the, of the concentration or the relaxing our mind, that immediately will also be relaxing the mind and breathe, and also our wind becomes relaxing. Mind, wind and breathing, mind relaxing, and that is then become meditation. So that is really very, very effectful and very powerful tool to relax the mind with that. And you do that if you like to do for five minutes or ten times. Going in and out breathing as one time and maybe ten times. Or going out as one, coming in as one, that means exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, even count that for five times or ten times. If we are able to relax your mind that much with that what we are concentrating, that what brings it brings calm, peaceful, soothing. That means at that moment what is happening? Our all the energies are relaxing. Mind is relaxing, energies are relaxing, muscles are relaxing, and the system is relaxing and balanced. Then whole system of the physical become quite calm, quite peaceful. That's what it's called meditation, calm meditations. So that that again start this is when we do that. This is known as the profound techniques of the mindful meditation, mindful techniques. It really what what brings it brings awareness. It brings more understanding. It brings kind of the all awareness. Present our knowledge is like kind of like almost like kind of one directed, but. Our when mind is relaxed, and then it will kind of expand the knowledge and understand. It shines so clearly, beautifully, and then it brings the beautiful natural qualities one after another. So those are known as the practices of the of the mindfulness and the meditation. And that is my brief talk for this evening. If you have any questions, I'm happy to discuss. Thank you, everyone, again. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This one? Oh, yeah. Thank you. That was cool. Wow, that's, I thought I lost it. <laughs> oh, thank you. We want to thank you so much for your kind words of wisdom, the uh, ancient wisdom of, of mindfulness and the teachings of the Buddha that you and Ken Rinpoche have brought to us for so many years here in, in the Palm Beaches. Um, I was thinking about it the other day that um, this is the 34th year that you have been coming. <laughs> but, uh, but 
but but you and too much mindfulness. Too much? <laughs> 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 oh, you, you have come with, with so steadfastly and with such devotion, Rinpoche, every year. And of course, you and Ken Rinpoche, the, our gracious teacher, and uh, your brother and your dearest friend who came and shared with us too until 2010 and uh, we're so grateful for your collective wisdom and for your carrying the torch forward and so it was in 1983 that uh, Rinpoche's first came and planted these seeds of Dharma on the shores of, of the Palm Beaches and um, how, how the community, how this mindful and meditative community has bloomed and, and grown. And uh, we have a very active urban center in West Palm Beach or in Lake Worth. And we uh, offer practices now on Tuesday evenings and Wednesdays and in Thursdays. We have practice in uh, Spanish. It's great to hear the Heart Sutra and practice the Calm Abiding Meditation in Spanish. We have practices on Saturday morning and once again on Sunday mornings as well. And um, on Sundays that uh, the meditation and always uh, what simple instruction that we can share with people as well when they're new um, to our community. Um, we also have um, a discussion group every Sunday. We have fellowship and um, very lively discussion um, from Rinpoche's books. Uh, we've been working most recently with a book, um, The Door to Inconceivable Wisdom and Compassion, written by our gracious teachers. And um, the information is always so pertinent to our to our daily lives and uphold us. And now um, we are uh, looking forward to further uh, development of these teachings of the Buddha and uh, the guidance of Rinpoche um, as we uh, develop our retreat land that we have in Jupiter, Florida. Palin Pema Samye Ling, or pardon me, Pema Samye Ling in uh, Jupiter, where um, we hope to continue to grow our, our practices there. Um, we uh, are in the process of raising funds so that we can have uh, a shrine there, a temple. Um, it's on 10 acres of land. And we, uh, we held a beautiful practice there yesterday um, honoring Buddha Shakyamuni. We sat by the pond and we listened to the wind and the pine trees and uh, saw the sandhill cranes fly overhead and call to each other and the hawks and the turtles. And it was, it's really, it's such a very beautiful place. And we hope that you will um, have the opportunity to come there and visit, uh, to stay in touch with us. Um, you can uh, join on our mailing list. Uh, we have a, a newsletter that goes out for the many activities and events that we we hold. And uh, so we want to celebrate that with you this evening, uh, as well as the stupa that we have outside. Perhaps you can see through the window the stupa that's lit up outside. This represents the compassion of the Buddha. It was a gift from Jeff Iber, who was here visiting from Tennessee. Uh, it was a labor of love, and he's donating that to us so that we can have that on the new land um, at uh, Pema Ling in Jupiter. And so you'll have the opportunity this evening, if you would like, to light a candle for world peace. 